I love Liz, Miss Melinda here to talk to you today about money magic. There are times in money magic when it's helpful to have a very specific goal and there are times in money magic when it is not helpful to have a specific goal at all. Now, many people will tell you that you must always have an extremely specific goal in magic. However, this is contradictory to the idea of surrendering. You'll often hear people say that in order to have successful magic or successful manifestation, you should not force the outcome. You should surrender the need to force the outcome. What that really means is that we should be open to the surprises that the universe may have in store for us. We should recognize that as humans with a very limited perspective, especially when we're doing magic for ourselves, we have a limited perspective. We may not be able to imagine or anticipate all of the ways in which the universe could bring our magic or manifestation to fruition. Therefore, it's helpful for us to leave ourselves open to the surprises and the surprise blessings that the universe may have in store for us. This means that we may not always know how our magic is going to come to manifest. However, what we can keep faith in is the end result. Many times in life, we get stuck on the how when in fact we need to just have faith in the end result. So let's go over some examples of when it is helpful in money magic to have a very specific goal. When we have a specific goal in magic, our magic is more likely to be successful if we are working on an avenue that is already open to us. When we're talking about money magic, avenues that are open to us are the areas of our life in which money has the potential to flow to us. This means our streams of income. For example, if you are an avid gambler and you're very good at gambling or you're a professional card player, then this would be an area of income that you could focus on in money magic. If you have multiple income streams and you simply desire for your income to increase, then it may be enough to request an increase in income. If you are working at a particular job and you know that the only way your income will be increased is by obtaining a raise, then your best bet may be to request that raise. In other words, if there are specific areas of money that are open to you in life and you have specific goals regarding your finances, then these specific goals are a great example of what to focus on in your money manifestations. On the other hand, let's say you aren't sure how more money can reach you. For example, you're out of work, but also unable to look for work in the present moment. Or you're working a job with a fixed income and you have no possibility of a raise or a promotion. In this case, Rather than asking for something that is unlikely to happen, like an increase in your income, and rather than asking for something very specific, like a large windfall of money or a lottery winning, it's best to recognize that your own vision and perspective may be limited and instead leave yourself open to surprise blessings that the universe may have in store for you. Doing this promotes an attitude of faith and it also leaves you open to possibilities. Having faith in magic means that you don't have to know why or how it will manifest and you're willing to receive blessings and surprises. There are numerous ways that money can come to you without a concrete goal and this can include such things as a reduction in bills, unexpected deals and perks, the lowering of interest rates, surprise refunds, debts suddenly repaid, or even finding money in unexpected places. Many blessings and much abundance to you. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please click like and please share.